Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Every week on Wednesdays, we get the guaranteed team of the season packs for the main league of team of the season that is currently in packs. Even though it would be amazing for EA to drop a guaranteed tots for the insane ultimate tots that are in packs right now, there's a couple reasons why it's probably not going to happen. But there might be another big insane pack instead of that guaranteed ultimate toss pack. So we're gonna talk about that today, SBC that I expect to drop today on FIFA 23. And we've got shapeshifters announced, car designs added on the loading screen, new icons are coming, and we're still waiting for that tots pack to re-enter the game and for compensation. A lot to talk about in FIFA 23 right now. If you're excited for the video today, drop a thumbs up on it and subscribe if you are new. Let's quickly go over yesterday's content because there was actually a lot of content yesterday too and a couple things that we did not surprise. First things first, we had another end of an era, and guys, this has to be, in my opinion, the worst end of an era that we have seen. Marco Asensio, this had some potential. Four-star, four-star, no upgrades there. He doesn't have more than 90 shooting or passing at this stage of the game without having a five-star, without having, um, you know, the best of stats that he could really have. He does have striker position change, and it's honestly just one that if you're a Madrid fan, you're getting it done because it's very cheap to do. Only 100,000 coins. That is the only nice thing about this card. Other than that, it's really not worth doing, in my opinion. It's the stats, right? Stats like that, we've been seeing in this game since, like, January or even December. So, that's why I'm not a huge fan of that card. We did have a couple other SBCs, though. The rest of the world, Tots guaranteed. Uh, a shot at maybe packing the Celtic Jota. If you went after that one, that was pretty cheap. And then we actually had a ECL winner, Emre Yilmaz, which is actually a rare gold pack for this cheap SBC here. Is a really good SBC to do. And you might want to check your club because there are some... Dutch players, uh, Dutch silvers and bronzes are up in price right now. I checked my club. I sold a few of these. You see like 2.7K, 1.7K. There's some of these silvers and bronzes that are selling for decent amounts right now because of that SBC. So make sure you check your club. They're still a little bit inf inflated, especially the rare silvers and the rare bronzes. Now, the SBC that was a bit surprising as a part of yesterday's content, this Tots or Tots Moments player pick. We had no idea this was coming, and it comes a day after the Tots or Tots Moments pack, repeatable five times, was taken away, right? And a whole compensation situation that is still looming large. We don't have any news on that right now. EA have not said anything, and we still await that SBC to be returned to the game, as EA promised that it would be. Um, no updates there, and the one thing I'm a little worried about with this SBC is, I really hope that this is not the replacement for that SBC. I really hope that it's not. I don't think that it is because EA said the pack five times repeatable one that got, of course, taken away is going to come back and it is going to return. But this SBC yesterday was a bit of a surprise. 83,000 coins to do. Guys, the pack code on this is not that good. I think I got Chesney from it and I did not see too many people getting really big W's from this because, I mean, any TOTS card is packable or TOTS moments is packable, right? You could pack a guy like this Arslan. Uh, you could pack a guy up to all the way, you know, like Mbappe, right? But those top tier cards are definitely not very packable in this SBC. A lot of those fodder TOTS cards, of course, are what you're getting from this, but it's still one that you can see, right? 65% upvote for the price that it was, 83,000 coins. It's a gamble that's fun to take just in the off chance that you were to get something good. It's going to come back today too, and that's why we have to talk about fodder. Right, We have to talk about fodder today because this SBC is coming back. If we get that TOTS pack times five to come back again, uh, or finally, right, that is going to impact fodder a lot. We're going to spend a little bit of time talking about this today because today is Wednesday, right? Weekend League rewards are paid out early this morning, and I think that's the last amount of supply this market's really going to see on this fodder side of things, at least until the end of the weekend, into the weekend, at least a lot of tradable supply. So I'm looking at 82s to 83s, all the way up to 86s. 86s are 12,000 coins once again. Whenever that compensation pack, um, not when the compensation gets paid out, but when the tots or moments player pack, the times five repeatable one drops back into the game, as long as it's still times five repeatable, when it comes back, these 86s are gonna you know fly up. We talked about them yesterday, at 13k and below. I still love them because if 
that pack comes back, they're going to go crazy. Now, one thing's for certain, right? 85s are probably going to go crazy again today because they're required and they went up in price because of the tots moments, tots or moments player pick, right? From 8K up to 10, 11,000 coins on like all of these 85s yesterday. Guess what? They're probably going to do it again today. Um, I mean, Nabry went to 11K, but a lot of these guys were around 10,000 coins. That was kind of their max price in the peak. I would stock those. I would stock the 84s. 83s and the 82s guys 82s i think are slept on they're already inflated but these guys might be 2000 coins by we, by the time we get to the end of the week and 83s might be like three and a half k because there's so many of these spcs that require you know like an 84 rated squad but you put in a tots card or an 85 rated squad with a tots card where you're, what are you filling it out with 82s and 83 so that's why i think if you're gonna buy any fodder i think this might be the lowest point on fodder from now until the rest of the week i was even doing some 83 plus player picks yesterday um and i was buying the players for that definitely not the best value thing to do right now in this game but like ericsson some, some of these 82s and 83s 1.6k right they get in the solutions and they really really shoot up in price i would just say go through and do a club stock get on some bids that's the best place to get these for sure uh get on some bids and then stock them into your club or the transfer list if you plan to do more upgrade packs like I do. Whether you want to do them for ultimate team this season or even save some of those 80 plus or 83 plus player picks for shapeshifters, which we'll talk about shapeshifters right at the end of the video once again, um, just to kind of look out for all that's a, that is upcoming. So I think fodder is a very, very important play. If you're going to do any more of these upgrade SBCs throughout the week, I would, I would very strongly encourage you to go out and pick some up and put it in the club, put it in the transfer list, because it's probably just going to keep going up throughout this week. Now, Tots Fodder, Team of the Season cards, the cheapest ones on the market, are, of course, up even more. And if we get the Moments Player Pick and the regular pack back today, uh, this is Fodder. This Fodder is going to go crazy. Again, 32,000 coins for basically all of these Tots Fodder cards. I think a couple of them at 31K on Snipes. That's up even more from yesterday. I'm not thinking about selling the Tots cards that I've invested in just yet. I'm going to keep waiting because I think once we see like 40K, I think 40K is going to be a point where I say, all right, that might be, especially for some of the low rated ones, right? You know, the 88s to the 89s, the 90s, especially for these guys that I got like 15,000 coins. Once I see about 40K, which is almost like for some of these cards, their max price, see 47,000 coins, 45,000 coins for some of these 88 rated cards. Um, that's like their max price. So if they get close to that, I'll probably be selling just because that's like a double in price um, in the past two weeks. And I think for me, that's a successful investment. Yes, they could go on to go further up. And if you want to hold, you absolutely could. It could be that last year's scenario that we've been talking about all over again, where Tots cards went to like 60, 70, 80 K for a short time period. That could happen again, but for 40,000 coins for your time value of an investment, that is an insane, insane profit. And doubling your money in like a week. So I would take the cash there. If we get to 40K, and we could get to 40K by the end of this week, but I'm just kind of kind of shouting that out there because you see Tots prices continuing to go up. A lot of you guys are asking when to sell. That's my thought process of when to sell. Now, other cards that I have sold, we talked about informs, right? I started selling some of my informs that I bought last week. They didn't go up as much because EA has really recently just been requiring Tots cards. It hasn't been team of the week or team of the season. Most of the SBCs have just been team of the season which is making those go up further it's making these go up less but the tradable team of the week 81 plus pack is refreshing today and that is a reason why i am selling those team of the week cards because i think there's an opportunity to double dip i think we're going to see this sbc refresh today is going to bring tradable supply back to this market on all informs and it's going to be a great time to sell before this comes back today and then get back in on open bids on snipes on those 85 86 87 and 88 rated informs they're probably going to dip in value if you take a look at inform graphs on footbin the last time this sbc refreshed they went down and then they went back up later on so another great opportunity to invest here in the coming days on those informs but they should be dropping in price today so watch out for that for sure now that was a lot of talk about sbc fodder and what's going on in this game which of course we are going to need fodder today for the big pack that i talked about at the beginning of this video right that ultimate tots sbc guaranteed is something we would all love to see right but it's just something that has not been a part of ultimate team this season the past couple of years 
And as we take a look at the pack code, obviously, if we don't have an ultimate tots pack in the code, we're not going to get an SBC for it, right? I went back on Foot Scoreboard's Twitter to look through the code that's been added, and there is nothing in here for me that shows a guaranteeing a one player from an ultimate team in the season pack. You've got the weekend league rewards, you've got some of the TOTS packs that were in the store and stuff like that, but nothing in here is a singular one player from ultimate team of the season upgrade pack. Instead, just a couple of days ago, this SBC was added to the code 93 plus community slash efigs team of the season player pack. In my opinion, this is going to be our replacement for a guaranteed community or a guaranteed ultimate tots SBC. I think number one, because EA wouldn't want to give out that good of an SBC, of course, with all of these cards and packs right now. Can you imagine an ultimate tots guaranteed? It would be like a lot of people packing Frimpong, Klaus, Fofana, and Saliba, but then some people getting insanely lucky and packing, you know, KDB's, Teos. It would probably have the same weight as like the red picks almost, honestly, which would be like too cracked because how many people do you know that have gotten uh, Lewandowski, like Teo Hernandez? I've seen a lot of red layouts and Kavaradonas this weekend and Kunku's even, Musiala's, right? Oceanman's, a lot of those cards in reds. I think it would just be too overpowered for EA's liking. They don't want to give out all those cards super duper easy, which is unfortunate because it's the end game, right? Why not have some fun, drop a pack like that and just let us have fun with it. But instead, I think we're going to get this SBC again, or for the first time, I think we're going to get it today. And price-wise with this, it's interesting to think about because a 93 plus community slash efix tots, that takes a lot of cards out of the equation, right? Um, you know, it takes out some of the fodder cards like Strafeza, Di Lorenzo. If you take a look back to like League One, it's going to take out Andre, Cabela, Todibo, Fofana. It's going to take all those guys out of the equation. You'll still have guys like Klaus and Samba and Nuno Menge and cards like that available from this SBC, but it's going to kind of take out that bottom tier that a lot of us probably already have, right? David Garcia, he won't be packable. Molina, he won't be packable. Instead, you have a chance of getting guys like Valverde, Militao, Balde will be in there as a 93, Pedri, Kunde is a 93. You still have Marino in there as well. So it just basically gives you a more cream of the crop choice out of these team of the season cards that have been released. 93 plus takes a lot out of the bottom. So I think EA is going to make that a little bit more expensive today, though. I doubt it's repeatable more than one time, and I doubt we can do it more than one time. Actually, I think it'll be just today, and that's it. Um, I would have to say, guys, though, if you're going to prepare for this SBC today, maybe kind of creep up the fodder ratings a little bit. Take some 86s, take some 87s, and maybe even a couple 88s into the club because I would have to imagine this SBC would probably be around about 150,000 coins. If you look at the prices of cards that are around that 93 rated where the bottom of this SBC would be, um, you've got Brandt at like 46K, right? Um, who else do you have in here from Bundesliga? There's not that many 93s from Bundesliga, a lot of 92s. But even if you look back to like Premier League, I think, how much is Bruno Guimaraes? He's still 78,000 coins. Wow, he's actually dropped off a lot. Casemiro is 58,000 coins. He's going to be in this SBC. Saka will be in it. He's 380. Uh, Martinelli's 255. So even including community team this season, there's a lot of cards in here that are pretty expensive, but also a good amount that are pretty cheap. Chesney is 93. He'll be in it. Di Maria, 232. I'm assuming Moments will be a part of it as well. Bremer's 125k. So I would have to imagine this SBC would be 150K, maybe even more than that, maybe 200, 250,000 coins, because it's definitely a more elite TOTS upgrade pack SBC, which is why I would say watch out for a TOTS card requirement or maybe even two in this pack. And then definitely like an 88, maybe an 87 rated squad, and then maybe like an 86 rated squad. Maybe it's going to be like a three squad SBC today. So that's going to be a big SBC I expect to drop in the game today. Um, stock your fodder in the club accordingly just to get ready for that one because that's going to be an SBC that I think a lot of people would want to do and it's probably going to impact the market a lot as well. If you think about it, right? All those 93 rated cards that we were just talking about, there's going to be some that have higher pack weights than others. And, uh, you know, a guy like Balde or Nuno Menge, I'm, I'm thinking that there could be a good amount of panic selling on some of these cards that are not in ultimate team of the season that will be packable from this upgrade pack today. As a lot of people do it, you're going to find out right away. If you look at the popular page on Footbin, every day after they release a new type of SBC like this, or even like on hero player pick days, you can see which cards are getting packed the most because they're number one dropping in price. And number two, they're on the popular page of Footbin. I would watch this space 
today around the content drop because if you see guys like Doodle Mensch, if you see Balde, if you see, um, I don't know, maybe like Chesney up in there, probably you're going to see him a good amount. But like some of those middle tier cards that uh, could be halfway packable from this. Uh, from the specific leagues, maybe a Jonathan David is super packable today. Maybe a Medina is super packable. People want to check and see who they packed and then uh, look at the price, of course, on Footbin. That's why you see them go on that popular list. That's the prices I expect to see impacted the most today. And it's going to be a big coin drain SBC in general. So I just can't imagine the market today is going to be impacted in too much of a positive way. That's why I'm keeping my coins pretty liquid, as we've been talking about all week long. I did uh, make a couple of trades. I bought a... Uh, Kavicha card here at 1.5 mil flat. He's been around 1.6 to 1.7. So I've got mine listed up, and so does this guy at the moment, a little bit cheaper than me. But uh, I'm making a couple flips here on a card like that. I flipped a Kyle Walker yesterday, and uh, man, guys, unless we have like a last minute leak today, I'm I'm really not feeling confident about an end of an era Zlatan, which is definitely disappointing. I would much rather have a Zlatan in SBC, even if it's not as high rated as it could be. I would rather have an end of an era Zlatan card um, in an SBC than having one in packs during shapeshifters or during like the next promo or something like that. Just give me the SBC EA. That would just be so much more hype, I think, for a lot of people in this game as well. Um, and Zlatan's just a huge player. So I know we talk about Zlatan like every single day. I'm going to pick this level up for 220, see if we can flip that. But that, that needs to be an SBC, right? Hands down. So I hope we get some leaks for that today. But... With that 93 plus tots pack coming and a new card design also added to the code, I think our content today might kind of revolve around another player SBC, and that might be the Kaka. Yes, we knew about the Kaka that was leaked for the E Champions League winner, his choice. And I mean, yesterday we got the E Champions uh, winner uh, SBC, right? His Emre Yomaz ECL winner, he himself. This is like an SBC for a, a pro player on FIFA. That's kind of cool, right? Now, I think his card's going to drop today simultaneously the day after. The card design is officially in the code. I haven't checked to see if it's in the game yet. Let me do that really quick. But again, it is Kaka that we are looking for today on this game uh, to get this SBC. He was chosen as the official winner. And as I'm looking right now, it is not in the game. It's not there yet. So this card design with Kaka on it will be an SBC today. Hopefully the price is good. I'm guessing today. It could be later on during the week, but today would make the most sense. So if it's Kaka day and 93 plus tots efigs day, that's a pretty busy day on this game in general. So watch out for a busy day of content and more coins being drained. Of course, the refresh of the tots player pick and maybe that tots pack coming back as well. Five times repeatable. It might be a mad day today on FIFA 23. We'll just have to see. So that's kind of all the content that I'm expecting. Now, the loading screen. We have to talk about shapeshifters as well because at the same time, we're all trying to pack ultimate tots cards and all these upgrade packs are out and maybe the hype is even dying a little bit for you. I know some people are feeling that sort of way. The hype is also being trying to be built by EA with this loading screen they dropped yesterday showing not one, not two, but three different car designs. A little bit of streamception right here with a screenshot from earlier. I packed three tots yesterday. None of them were good. So that's the answer to that question. Three car designs on the loading screen. Number one, the foot sh uh, shapeshifters premium car design with the crown up top. A lot of people think, is this going to be a hero card? I don't know. It kind of reminds me of the crown that was on top of those premium footies cards back at the end of FIFA 22, where they had better chemistry links. They basically had links like heroes almost. Um, and I think that might be what that is for shapeshifters. In the middle, obviously, we have a shapeshifter icon card that is now confirmed. And uh, then the regular shapeshifter card on the right. It looks like EA is really trying to build the hype early for shapeshifters. Um, does this mean that they they know that the hype of ultimate tots is kind of lacking a little bit and the pack weight's terrible? I'm sure they know that, right? But uh, this is them trying to build the hype. So another loading screen update today. Maybe we'll start to see a, a stat or like a nation and position on some of these cards. And I would keep an eye on Twitter, guys, because just as ultimate tots is sort of on its way out, the, the hype and the leaks for shapeshifters really might start to ramp up as well. Well, so that's kind of the loading screen. There's not too much else to talk about other than we are going to be getting new versions of icons, a premium version of shapeshifters, and a regular version 
all in this next week, starting on Friday. So if you've got packs that you're like, man, this pack weight for ultimate team of the season is just too bad. I don't want to open anything else. Then I would just say start saving if you really want to, because Shapeshifters is a W promo. And if there's going to be multiple different types of cards and packs, that's going to bring some hype in its own right. So just be careful there and kind of just evaluate where you're at with your account. And uh, yeah, guys, just be very careful on the market as well. I'm doing a couple of quick trades here or there, but not too much just because right now uh, this market is just kind of in the gutter almost as it seems. And a lot of coins are being drained. So I'm not messing with too much, but we're going to be opening packs today. Hopefully that 93 plus comes out. Hopefully EA tell us a little bit more about compensation. We have no news besides that we are still getting compensation. Just bring back that tots pack and bring back the tots player pick. And we'll all be trying to pack as biggest of tots cards we can today on this game. But if you enjoyed the video today, drop a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new. It's been Nathan with account. I'll see you guys in the stream today. Peace out.